The murder case against a Jacksonville man awaiting trial for allegedly murdering a woman and burying her dismembered body in the backyard of his home on the south side of Jacksonville. First Coast News anchor Heather Crawford joins us now to explain what new documents reveal now about this very troubling case, Heather. It is a troubling case, Jeannie, and we have been going through just hundreds of documents and photos and hours of recordings released this week by the state attorney's office. It's all discovery in the case against Russell Tillis, and it shines a new light on what was discovered buried in his backyard at his home that neighbors call the House of Horrors. Russell Tillis was already in jail on unrelated charges when investigators unearthed the dismembered body of 31 year old Joni Lynn Gunter in his backyard. It was February of 2016 when they started digging. According to this police report, authorities believe the victim may have been tied up in the garage on rafters and dismembered. That happening as far back as 2012. Over the course of six days, human skeletal remains were found. A police report says while Tillis was in jail, a conversation was captured where he admitted to killing the victim and burying her remains. Shortly after the recordings were made, police got a search warrant for the property and started digging. As part of the legal discovery process, First Coast News obtained some of those recordings. They sell the property or somebody takes the property. Once they go in there and upgrade the sewage system so that they can put another trailer on it or put a house on it, yeah. they want to unearth it. They yeah. want to find it. So they probably won't find it when they bulldoze the house, true sure enough. But once they go in there to do any renovation or upgrading to the property, it's going to be found. And that one's going to be the this, going to be the that. The medical examiner's report reveals two charred small fragments of burnt bone, possibly human, were also found. But it could not be determined if it was part of Gunter's body. The remains were found in three separate holes, and in one of those holes, a rusty chainsaw blade was also unearthed. For you to get away with it, you've got to know what you're doing, boy. See, a lot of people, they, 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 they think they know what they're doing, or they think they, you know, this, 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 you know, like, professional. Uh, you know, it's a professional. I guess you acquire experience as you go. Yeah. If you don't get caught on the first one. Yeah, the more experience, the more you do it. You got them. Well, through the years, I mean, I, 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 when I was in California, I shot a guy out there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to be about four or five of them trying to beat my yeah. shot in. I shot a guy in San Juan parking lot one time. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if I killed him or not. I left. The one in California to kill him. He lived. Yeah. The one in the uh, San Juan parking lot, I don't know if he died or not, but that's been I mean, 20 some years. So a lot of information released as part of this discovery process, and we have posted several of the photos and a lot more information on this case. You'll find that all at firstcoastnews.com. I want to let you know that Russell Tillis is behind bars. He is set to go to trial on the murder charge next year. Jeannie, back to you.